In today's episode, we're going to focus on a new gameplay called screening. How can we screen the color through the gameplay? Now, let's come and have a close look. The target for this gameplay is that we will place the red, green, and blue objects in front of the color sensor and then to detect whether the object is red or not. If the detected object is red, then the buzzer will make a beep sound. If it is not red, it will display an icon on the LED screen and turn off the RGB indicator. So how about its principle? We know that the handle bit has a buzzer. You can see the picture right here. And we can use the music command on the micro bit. What should we prepare for this gameplay? We need to use the micro bit, the USB cable, the handle bit, and the computer. Insert our micro bit into our handle bit first. Please make sure the LED side should face this upward with two batteries inserted. Turn on the handle bit switch and connect it to the computer by using USB cable. You will find the computer will add another USB flash disk. Click it and then download the program to the micro bit USB flash disk. So in this place, we still need to use four dipole lines and the color sensor. The color sensor port on the handle bit has four pins. They are GND 3.3V, which means VCC, SDA, and SDL. And we can connect them through using the dipole line. This table shows the software command for this gameplay. And you can find all these commands under the type choices. And here are the explanations for each command or each block. If you cannot really understand what's the meaning of the block, you can check you can check the explanations right here. So before achieving these programs, the first step we need to do is to make the color calibration. And just like we have mentioned before, the calibration procedure it's very easy for you to operate it. You can see the procedure right here. We will place the white paper in front of the color sensor and the distance is about 2 cm. Then press button 1. Wait for the buzzer to play the time and then we complete the white calibration. Then we replace the white paper to the black paper. Press the button Four, and then we will finish the black calibration after the buzzer make a beep sound. So this is how we finish the color calibration. And after finished it, the color recognition can be achieved after this process. So this is the whole program for this gameplay. Please remember to initialize the handle bit first and make the color calibration first. Then we need to come to the condition part. First, we need to judge whether the detected color is red. If the object is red, it will execute the program inside the module. That means it will play the tones for a certain bit and to post a certain time. Set the color and display it. You can see right here. And then if the detection is not red, you can let the LED light to display an icon, which means no, and then to turn off the light. So this is the program for this gameplay. You can also make a more fantastic one by yourself. If you still have any question, please feel free to contact us. See you there.